This is Jim. Hey. And this is Bob. Jim and Bob are here to introduce to us how to have a conversation, or more specifically, small talk, for when you have social anxiety and suddenly don't want to be here anymore. First, let's discuss introductions. Please observe the following. You doing alright? Hey. Stop. Did you notice the problem? When someone asks a question, it is important to respond as ignoring them can be often seen as rude. Let's replay that and try again. Hey, you doing alright? Slight day to the boot, but I'm doing alright. Yeah, I feel that. I'm doing alright myself, just, you know, waiting for the classroom to open up and unlock. Because they're locked. Anyway, uh, you heading anywhere after this? None of your business! Okay, stop. That was rather rude, wasn't it? When talking to friends, it is always important to remain polite so as to not hurt anyone else's feelings. Now, let's try that again. Just heading back to what's happening. Can you just make small talk, please? I'm trying to make a PSA. Who, who said that? While making small talk, it is usually because some people have places to be and don't have much time. Okay, fine. Let us talk, all right? The professor's about to get here. Come on, this is important! Yo, point, we have places to be, but we're just gonna say hi! Come on, just give me a shot. Okay, fine. Hey, Bob, you doing alright? Oh, hey, yeah, just, you know, waiting on class to get started. The professor's not here yet. What about uh, you? You heading somewhere? I have an acting class to get to, yeah. Oh, cool. Would, hey, by the way, would you wanna go grab some food later? I thought this was small talk. I thought you were supposed to leave! Fine, I'll stop. You guys talk. I'm just trying to help people and you guys are just... Right. Anyway, you wanna go grab a bite to you later? I can, I have a project to do. Right, yeah, that's probably fine. I'll probably see you later. Finally, something in this conversation went right. What you just witnessed was a proper display of not wasting time and getting right to the topic. Before we close, let's talk about goodbyes. During a goodbye, it is always important to remain polite, as regardless of how much of a connection you have with the other, you will still have another opportunity to see them again and have a real conversation. Before we give an example, let's go 